Hello there, Greg Reynolds from Travel Hacks News. Today, let's find out how to score the cheap airfare to Mexico. Here we go. Hello, thanks for joining today. We are talking about how to score cheap airfare to Mexico. It is high time to say yes to Mexico. Mexico, it's time to fill your carry-on, chart your Mexico flights, and prepare for an unparalleled adventure. When it comes time to think about your next escape, I get that planning's half the fun. Discovering location, unearthing all the perfect things to do, and investigating airfares are all part of making memories you'll never forget. No matter if you're looking for action-packed getaway with the family or a restful trip on your own, when you use my money-saving tips to score cheap airfare to Mexico, you will have more of your hard-working cash to go out and explore the sites and less on the cost of your flight to this fantastic region. What I'm telling you is, don't be that person that paid the most for their ticket on the flight. After all, your flight is too expensive. You're likely going to keep putting the trip off. I've seen this happen time and time again, and yet every day airlines thousands of amazing de- offer thousands of amazing deals from mistakenly published fares to special promotions to slashing prices to compete with another airline. Cheap fares are out there, and they can make your dream trip a reality if you know where to look. Though today, I'm going to help you master the art of finding a cheap flight to Mexico. These are the exact steps I've been following for a decade to get the cheapest airfare every time I fly. If you follow them too, you'll never be the person on a flight who paid the most for the airline ticket. Okay, so first off, when is the best time to book a flight to Mexico? Now, I know you could be locked into certain days to fly out and to come back and you only have certain days of travel and all those different factors might play into this. But if you're able to book the perfect trip, okay, the cheapest day to fly to Mexico is going to be on a Tuesday. So yeah, it's, it's in, it's the start of the week almost. Um, and then the cheapest uh, time basically would be to try to get something in the afternoon after 12 o'clock, okay? Um, oh, oh, at actually between noon and say the early afternoon hours, okay? Those are the best times to book a flight. Uh, don't look for the morning. If you, I know you want to get there early, get in, you know, get book the early morning flight and get there and so on. Um, but if you want to save that cash, uh, start looking around noontime or a little bit after um, on a Tuesday. Okay, so let's dive into the idea of what is the best time uh, and get back to the basics of booking and, and where your mindset should be. So number one the cheapest time. Now, we talked about this. While some of the best trips to Mexico are built around spontaneity, try and wait at least two weeks out before booking your flight. You can save up to $130 in doing so, and that way you can save that last-minute planning on smaller ventures to Tulum, uh, nearby Cozumel Island. The Mayan ruins in Tulum are well worth the wait. Now, number two, the cheapest day? If you're planning a week-long trip, it shouldn't matter too much what day of the week you decide to go. As such, though, to party on a Tuesday, like I mentioned before, is your best bet. You can save up to $17, plus the Mexico resorts feel a lot less crowded during the work week than on the popular weekends, okay? Number three, let's return on a Wednesday, okay? Um, same goes for returning on Wednesday. You can save up to $38. And Tuesday through Wednesday schedule will give you more than a week to soak up the sun. There's plenty of time to visit the nearby villages, Mayan ruins, and even get some serious pool time. After all, you want to get in as much as you can at the all-inclusive swimming pool bar as you can. Yes, indeed. And last is um, March Madness. March happens to be the cheapest month to travel to Mexico. Now, I know we're in March, and maybe you can't book a couple weeks out. Oh, maybe you can at the end of March if you can get that booking in now. I happen to be uh, making this video um, in kind of mid-March. Um, so, hit it. This is the time to start checking. Get out there if you've got some time coming up. Um, 
try to get that spring break trip in. Um, and you could also say probably up to 50 bucks a bet on that. So, I mean, overall, almost $100, um, a couple of hundred dollars here if you, if you can follow some of these ideas. So let's talk about search engines, the internet, finding those flights, okay? Not all search engines are created equal, I'm gonna tell you that. Every day, airlines release thousands of killer deals from the mistakenly published shares of mention this to normal deals to slash prices to compete with the other airlines, okay? I've seen tickets, for example, to Asia from the US for as little as $400 round trips and flights from the US to Europe for under $200, amazing. Cheap fares are out there if you know how to find them, okay? What I wanna do is suggest some companies, um, and today I'm gonna do that, that have consistently helped me find super deals. They offer world-class customer service and provide it's just an overall great value. Um, all of them stand out, in my opinion, beat the competition here in sound. So my consideration, let's get into some of those engines that can help you out. Number one website search engine um, that I've got here is Skyscanner. This is actually my go-to flight website. My first searches I make it. Uh, they search a lot of different airlines, including many of the budget carriers that larger sites miss. Okay, I, I always start with Skyscanner and they usually find the best deal. So give it a try and get on there. Okay, number two, um, you can still use this to Mexico. This is uh, more uh, getting into uh, kind of around the world global travel, uh, uh, air tracks. Um, but yeah, they can still help you to Mexico. This is again, one that I'd like to go to. The company is a leader in the around the world tickets. The booking engines allow you to construct itineraries using multiple airlines. So you can piece together the best deals. Your staff are excellent, really helpful, and they really know their stuff. So. Uh, maybe not to Mexico this time, but uh, put air tracks on your on your favorites here for you for your travel. Okay, let's get into number three money saving airfare website Momondo. This is another great option for finding uh, budget flights. They always seem to find deals, and their calendar view lets you see which days are the cheapest to fly. I like them because they search the small booking sites no one else does. Check it out. I love this site. Okay, let's not forget about our favorite place to be, okay? Google. We always use it. Google Flights, number four. Not necessarily the last one in this whole pairing, but um, on my list of sites to check every single time. So, yes, you can call them number one as well. One of the best. Um, Flight search engines out there. Google Flights let you enter your departure airport and see flights all over the world on a map. So you can see where the cheapest destinations are. Um, they also suggest different dates for cheaper flights. I just love this. It's so easy. You can do this going to Mexico, nail it down, get your cheap flight. Okay, so that's it, folks. I do thank you for being here. This is my conclusion. It's just to let you know we. We all dream of taking that perfect solo or family vacation. But planning on a budget can be hard. It seems like airfares and hotel rates go up constantly. And a sweet price today could be gone tomorrow. If you're unsure of where to go or when you want to go. But good deals are out there. Trust me. And I hope the ideas I share today will save you tons of cash on your next trip to Mexico or anywhere else you're going to be going. Happy travel, save that cash, have some fun. Lastly, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this. I hope you got something out of it. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna to try to bring you some other great ideas and other travel tips and so on uh, coming up soon. Take care.